uh, zigging and zagging is the far more common career, uh, career path. Uh, Andrea Bocelli was a lawyer before he became a, an opera singer. Jerry Springer was mayor of Cincinnati, Ohio before he became a daytime talk host. Uh, so the kind of constant reinvention actually I think is, is more the norm. And we see this uh, in the career, uh, one person we highlight in the book and we'll highlight this morning is Sheryl Sandberg. And most people know Sheryl as the Silicon Valley Titan COO of Facebook. And it may be surprising to learn that as an idealistic undergrad, uh, Cheryl uh, probably would have never guessed that she'd be in Silicon Valley working in, the private, in a private sector in a for-profit company. Because her initial aspirations and values were to help the less fortunate, to give back, to try to make the world a better place. And she launched her career by going to India and working on public health projects for the World Bank. Uh, and after a couple years at the World Bank, decided that, uh, well, that was having impact, she wanted to try something different. So one got her MBA and then went to work at McKinsey as a management consultant for a couple years. Uh, but then after consulting, that had a certain kind of impact, a different type of impact, but she wanted to experiment yet again. And then she, she pivoted from NGO to the private sector, then into the public sector and working at the Treasury Department for Larry Summers for several years. And after Bill Clinton's term ended uh, in 2001, Cheryl was thinking about what to do next in her career. She had adapted, she'd been pursuing opportunities to date. What was the next big opportunity? And Cheryl tells a story of how she, she uh, was meeting with Eric Schmidt, then the CEO of Google, laying out in detail the pros and cons of all these different career opportunities she had. And Schmidt gave her some very valuable advice. He said, get out of the weeds. Focus on where the growth is in the world. Where are the big opportunities? And ride that wave. As it turned out, the big opportunity at the time in 2002 was Google. And Schmidt hired Cheryl, uh, and Cheryl grew a, sa a sales operation in California from four people to thousands of people worldwide. And it's just, it's amazing to hear, to hear her career story. Uh, the, the remarkable adaptation, the constant pursuit of opportunity, and yet always holding true to some basic values about how to make the world a better place, how to make the world more connected, how to give back. And she's pursued that aspiration in many different career contexts.